I grew up street skating because that's basically all we had. I remember we sold a bag of concrete for my friend Levi's dad, and we put it all in a barrel and barreled it down to the school and tried to like make a barrier thing. And it was there for like a day and then it just crumbled. I've never really been super like artistically gifted, but with skateboarding, yeah, I've been able to kind of create a idea that I wanted to get across. It's definitely liberating. If you can imagine it, you can probably make it happen. We met at a contest like three years ago. Me and Uno were like the only two girls on the west coast of Canada that skated really, so we were like instantly like, yeah, this is sick. And we all just like clicked really fast and became friends right away. Yeah, it just kind of grew from there. My skate friends and the stuff that we go through, it's like my most highs and my most lows at the same time. Go on a trip and you have some of the best days you, in your, of your life, but then you also have some of the worst and some of your skating shit or your competition shit and you're around them when they're that like emotional and stuff, whether it's positive or negative, you just become really close automatically. It's just the best thing that skateboarding could have, I think, in Canada. Brianna and Una. Well, for me, I guess it is because I've been running a skateboard shop for 17 years and been skateboarding for like 25 years, so it's like exciting. That might be the same trick that everyone's done, like, yeah, but it's done differently and done with different style and different pants on. <laughs> It'd always be like some manual flip variations. It's just like manuals. I always do manuals. Technical skating, more so than throwing myself down stuff. She's sick. She's exactly who she wants to be. It's cool. It's like punk mixed with like the sweetest person in the world. She inspires me every day to like be myself a little bit. Oh my God. We both just like hackle each other. Do half cab in and then 5-0 and I'll do the same. Maybe you'll think about it less. Okay. Yes, you fucking can. Just do it. Come on, like, get it already. Like, try something new. Get broke off. <laughs> if I hear her, like, stoked on something, for me, like, being like, you know, like, you should do this, or, like, I'm thinking about something, I'm not sure, she's like, do it. And she's always got my best interest at heart. Oh, yeah! Dude, you got it! She wouldn't like tell me to do anything I shouldn't or whatever, so I'm just like, oh, what? She thinks I should do it? Like, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> you fucking boss! That was sick. This was always my dream camera to have, eventually. I was like, I need to get a VX one day. And when I first started, <laughs> I like went down to my basement with like this, this old point shoot photo camera and put it on the video mode, put it on the floor and then like tried kick flips in front of it. It's really cool, Una, like she always has her little handy cam out and stuff and she'll like show us all the footage and look back and it's like, oh, I forgot we were here and we were all doing this thing and it was so nice. She has a really good eye. Oh God, <laughs> fucking damn it. <laughs> I mean, skateboarding's definitely changed who I am and how I approach things. It's given me an outlet and so I can kind of like, express myself and explore my interests in film at the same time. You wanna get one more? Like. Sweet like honey, yeah, I think you're funny. I like the way you look and you smile. I like to play the guitar and sing and stuff. I have a hard time like working through difficult times in my life. And that's like one of the only ways to do it. It's like basically just skating and like writing stuff out that no one else, like it's just for me. Just like being able to scream for 20 minutes and just play something chill out. There was a point in school when I was like, 
I wanted to quit skating for a bit, so I was like, everyone thinks I'm like a loser tomboy. My sister was like more girly, and I was like, oh, she like has more friends than me, and like goes and does other stuff. Maybe I should quit skating and just be normal like everyone else. And then I was like, I don't really like to do anything else. Why would I just stop? Brianna helps me with that a lot. She helps me care less about the little things and more about what's going on right now, which is cool because I need that. Skating's definitely helped me learn how to express myself and kind of be who I am and what I want to be without limitations.